So now let us see how we can work with invisible buttons inside of Adobe Captivate. This process is suitable only for static projects and not for responsive projects. So that's something I want to get out in the beginning itself. So now in order to continue with making invisible buttons, I'm going to go to media and I'm going to bring in an image right over here. So let's say I'm just going to bring in this image right over here. So let me just resize this out right over here. So let me just click it, resize it and keep it over here just like this. So let's say I want to create a button right here. So I want to make this um, signboard right here clickable so that it goes to the next slide, but I won't, don't want it to be visible uh, as I see it. So I'm going to go to the shape right over here and I'm going to take a rounded rectangle and just draw on top of this area as you can see right over here. So now there's a rounded rectangle. I want to convert this into a button. So I'm just going to go around here and use it as a button just like this. And action is going to be go to the next slide as you can see right over here. And then in the style, you can see that there's opacity right over here. So I'm just going to set it as zero so it is invisible. So the shape is still there, but the opacity is zero. So I'm going to create a new slide over here as well, new slide. And I'm just going to bring in a button for this one. So I'm just going to go to uh, interaction button and I'm just going to have a back button over here for this one. So you can see that there's the button right over here. I'm just going to say back and I'm going to go to actions and go back, uh, go back to the previous slide. All right. So once you do that, I'm going to go over here on to the preview section and then I'm going to preview the project, the entire project itself. And let's see how everything works like now. So uh, creating the file, as you can see right over here. So you can see that this is the preview file. This is for the non-responsive project. So let me just play this and you can see that this is how it looks like. And I can go over here and click this as you can see right over here, but back and it goes back to the main slide. I cannot click anywhere else as you can see right here, but as I go here, it does not show anything. But as I click and hold it, you can see that there's a bit of a change going on. That's the button that's acting out and it goes on to the next slide back next as you can see so these can be used to create easter eggs and mini games uh, of your choice just like that as you can see right there so that is how you create indiv invisible buttons inside of the v captivate so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe